This video will focus in on converting in customary units. In fourth grade, you worked on converting in customary units, and you focus in on what happened when you converted from a larger unit to a smaller unit, and you learned that you multiplied. Today's video will focus in on what happens when we convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit. Do we multiply or do we use a different operation? So we'll work on that in just a few minutes. I want to review um, the different customary units that you work with, um, that you worked with in fourth grade and in fifth grade. You can see that one foot is 12 inches, one yard is three feet, one yard is equal to 36 inches, and one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So you've got your length here and then you've got your weight or your mass. This is a graphic organizer um, that I actually uh, kind of took from a fourth grade teacher several years ago to help remember the different units and the relationships for feet, yards, and inches. So you can see the big Y stands for one yard, and you can see that each kind of leg of that Y represents one foot. So three feet are in one yard. And then for each leg or each part of this, um, you can see that 12 inches is in one foot, 12 inches, one foot, 12 inches, one foot. So if I wanna know how many inches are in a yard, then 12, 12, 12 would be 36. Or if how many feet are in a yard, three. So that's a kind of way an organizer that can help you um, when you think of that and you've gotta solve a uh, problem with converting and customary length. You can draw that or think of that to kind of help you with your conversions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the fourth grade level and we are going to review uh, converting from a large unit to a small unit. So what I suggest is you always look at your units first. Like I can see that I am trying to change from feet to inches. Feet is my larger unit and inches is my smaller unit. Now, if I had blank inches equals four feet, I still need to focus in on, or I could rewrite it so that my four feet is first is equal to blank inches. I wanna start with what I know to what I don't know, and that's how I wanna look at it, okay? Because if I had my blank here, blank inches equals four feet, I would not be converting from a small to a large. So remember, you wanna start with what you know. I know it's four feet, I wanna know how many inches. So I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. And last year in fourth grade, you learned that you would multiply for that. So if I think back to my graphic organizer and I know that 12 inches are in one foot, then I am going to come over here and I'm going to multiply 12 times four, which is going to be 48 if I know my facts. So four feet is going to be equal to 48 inches. Let's review one more at the fourth grade level. We have two pounds is equal to how many ounces? Now you really should be memorizing these, so work on memorizing these. You're not gonna always have them in front of you. Once again, that graphic organizer can help you remember uh, the length and then kind of one pound is equal. Think of your sweet 16, all right, it's 16 ounces. So once again, I'm starting with what I know. I know two pounds and I'm changing to ounces. I'm converting to ounces. So I'm starting with my larger unit and I'm uh, converting to a smaller unit. And once again, we learned in fourth grade that when we convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. So if I am uh, changing from pounds to ounces, I know that 16 ounces are in a pound. So I'm going to multiply 16 times two, okay? Once again, um, if you know your facts, you would know that that is 32, but you could also think of that as um, two times six is 12, and two times 10 is 20, which together gives me 32 ounces. Okay, now let's step it up and let's look at converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, okay? So now I have 48 inches is equal to a yard. So when um, we are going kind of the backwards of that, if you think back, we know that the opposite of multiplication is division. So when I'm converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I am actually going to be dividing, okay? And because I'm going to break these inches, these 48 inches, I gotta break it into groups of inches that will equal a yard. And so anytime I'm taking a hole and I'm kind of breaking it apart, that is division. So that helps you understand why we're dividing as well. 
Okay, so once again, these I should be memorizing and I'm gonna be converting from inches to yards. So if I think back and memorize or if I draw this out, I know that 36 inches are in a yard. So I'm going to take 36 and I'm going to divide it into 48. All right, I know that 36 times one um, is gonna be pretty close to, uh, to 48. 36 times two would give me 70, 72. So that's gonna to be too big. So I would say 36 times one is 36, and then I am left with 12. Now I know that I'm done, that that's gonna be my remainder or my remaining inches because I have to, um, if it's less than my divisor, then I know that I can't get another group of 36 out of there. So this is actually gonna be one yard and 12 inches, or I could think of it as one yard, And one foot. Okay. So let's try one more and we'll be done. We're converting in customary. So we're changing from ounces to pounds. I'm going from a smaller unit, that's the one I know, to a larger unit. So if I think back, remember we're supposed to be memorizing these. I know that 16 ounces are in a pound. And we talked about that I'm gonna be basically breaking this 50 into groups of 16. How many groups of 16 can I get out? And we know if we're taking something and breaking it into equal groups, we are dividing. So I'm gonna divide 50 by 16, okay? Um, I know that 16, if I come over here and think about, I know 16 times one is gonna be kind of too far away. So I'm gonna go 16 times two. If I know my facts, that is going to give me 32 and then 16 times three is gonna give me 48, which that's pretty close to 50, okay? So I am going to divide by three. So 16 times three is 48, and I can regroup, or I could just count it 49, 50. I'm gonna have two left over. Now I know I'm done because once again, um, I, I know I have a remainder if it's less than my divisor because I can't get another group of 16 out of there. So this is going to be three pounds, with two ounces left over, all right? So remember, when we are converting, whether it's customary or even metric, you'll learn even in metric, that if I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I will be multiplying, and if I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I will be dividing. Now you will practice them on your own. Good luck.